Since its launch 10 years ago, this trailer has garnered what can easily be called a cult following, and it's hard to go anywhere without seeing at least a few of them. This week, we take a quick look at the new 2019 R-Pod. Then, Jeff Johnson gives us an in-depth second look at an earlier R-Pod feature that pretty well shows why this little trailer is so popular. Later in the show, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 cover some of the common RVing mistakes many of us have or could make. These stories and our Carefree Oni contest coming up on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is sponsored by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating over 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed captioning, we're available, is sponsored by Forest River. Begin the journey. And now, let's join Jeff and Cody Shade as they check out the 2019 R-Pod. This is the new 10th anniversary R-Pod. Yes, it These is, Jeff. made such a splash back 10 years ago. It looks like you've got the same graphics, different colors. The frog is now up in an airplane, so he's obviously moved up in the world. And what else do you have exciting on this, on the outside, for example? Well, we're high flying in our 10th year and our 10 year anniversary R-Pod, Jeff. And uh, as you mentioned, the exterior pays homage to our original design. Mm -hmm. um, we featured it this year in uh, diamond ice uh, exterior glass. And a really cool feature that I want to show you today is this really unique outside kitchen. Oh, okay. uh, typically in a unit the size of an R-Pod, it's really hard for us to figure out where to store an outside mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. And what we've done here is, is hidden it inside of a baggage door. The beauty with something like this is, of course, you have your two burner cooktop outside, okay. a um, fully stainless galvanized cooktop, and also a high pressure spray port for your dump sink on the outside. Mm -hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking already, Jeff, and what this does lose is a little bit of storage. Well, yeah, so, storage can be kind of important in a small rig like this. So. That it can. So we've designed this one so that it can be completely removed in the event that the customer may not need it. Wow. So this can nice. be placed in a garage or, or somewhere in storage and you've still got the full storage capability of your unit. Yeah, that's a pretty good sized space. Wow. And on the inside, I guess you've got what, 10 floor plans now? We've got so there's something for everyone? We're up to 10 floor plans. This new one features uh, two twin beds, which is really unique. Now you've got the capability for two separate, two separate sleeping positions in a unit that's still only 20 feet long. Okay, yeah, twin beds have kind of come and gone in the industry and uh, very few people have them these days, so people will, will be pleased to know that you've got them. It's a really unique advantage for us. And what about the rest of the interior here? Well, we, some of the other 10th year anniversary upgrades would include a nice big sink with upgraded faucet hardware, mm -hmm. Um, updated interior appointments, including new wall color, new flooring, new wood grains. Um, so I'd urge anybody who hasn't taken a look at an R-Pod lately to uh, to consider one. And the kitchen, I take it probably in, in the slide-out unit on this. It is. Yeah, okay. It is. And then and then, how, where is the dining and all that arranged in here? Well, the, the beauty of a, uh, a unit like this is you've got a big U-shaped dinette in the back of the unit oh, okay. so that you've got a dedicated sleeping area with the two twin beds up front and a nice big dinette in the back. Okay, and then other people, of course, if they want uh, uh, the kitchen in the back, they can get it. I mean, there's almost, with, with 10 different variations, and there, are, there, are there very similar uh, lengths on that or are they a little bit different? footage or? One important thing with the R-Pod is that we want to keep the lengths uh, under uh, 21, 20 feet. So they're mm -hmm. all right in that 20 foot segment. Uh, and this allows us not only to be pulled by smaller tow vehicles, but just to have a manageable size that people can tow with a the vehicle they already own. And this one is how long? This one is 20 feet as it sits right here. Okay, and it has a bathroom uh, wear on the inside. So, yeah. I mean, it, with that size, it's got wet bath, I suppose? It does, it does have a full size wet bath. Uh, with a shower and a uh, and a toilet integrated inside, 36 gallons of fresh water capacity, 30 gallons of gray and black heat. Mm -hmm. So, still really um, large holding tank capacity. Yeah, great. Sounds good for a R pod. Looks like you ought to continue with the uh, tradition, I suppose. Here's to the next 10 years. Yeah. How would you like to spend this year's RV camping season under a new Carefree of Colorado Power Awning? Well, you can. 
Together with our partners over at Carefree, we're giving away a new 2019 model Carefree Power Awning designed to fit your RV. And this includes free installation. To enter our contest is simple. Just visit our website at rollingontv.com and click on the Carefree Contest link where you'll find all the entry information and rules. The contest starts January 20th and runs through March 22nd, 2019. Why wait? Enter now so you can be spending this year's RV season under your new Carefree of Colorado Army. Aquacam Tossins. So fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Every once in a while, an RV comes along that seems to set a new standard in the industry. Its cosmetic good looks, features, and functionality all add up to a vehicle that becomes very popular. Well, the R-Pod trailer from Forest River has been around for a few years now, but it's still flying off the dealer's lots. You know, the R-Pod, its cosmetics is what makes it really easy to identify, and part of one of the things that's made it so popular today. The colors are great, the graphics are minimal, you know, it just looks nice. And part of what makes it really great to tow is its overall shape. That rounded configuration makes it very aerodynamic. The front up here, this helps cut through the wind, regardless of what kind of tow vehicle you have on it. It just makes it really, really aerodynamic. And on the back, it's rounded down a little bit, and that too helps to ease its passage through the air. Now, in this particular floor plan that has a kitchen on the back, they brought the back end down straight, and that allows a little bit better cabinet space in the back for the kitchen. And the width, one of the things that you also see on the trailer, of course, is the fact that it has the fenders and the tires on the outside of the trailer. So the trailer's a little bit narrower than a standard one that lets you put the tires and fenders on the outside, and that means you don't have wheel wells on the inside of the trailer to have to build cabinets and such around. And that's kind of a convenient thing for the designers. And there's a few other features on the outside here that are worth talking about as well. So let's take a closer look. Now this particular floor plan of this trailer has only one exterior storage compartment. They use this really nice new high-tech magnetic latches, which are really handy. And this compartment runs all the way across the, the trailer on the front, In the back it's a little bit shallower. It's not quite deep enough to be able to put a lawn chair or a camp chair in here. Those will have to go in your tow vehicle or on the floor, for example, inside the trailer. But this is big enough that can accommodate tools and small general hardware. And if you have longer items like tire pumps or anything that's under about six and a half feet long can go in crossways across the front. So it's a small compartment, but it's fairly functional. Now, one of the easy spotting features on the R-Pod, and it may be something that part of responsible for its popularity, is the fact that the body is fairly narrow. It's about six foot six outside wall to wall. Uh, that not only helps to make it a little more compact and you know seemingly easier to tow, it also makes it a little less prone to uh, wind resistance. I mean, it makes it slip through the air a bit easier. But that narrow body means it's possible to put the fenders and the tires on the outside. And that, too, is what gives it a, a look that is a little bit different than your average RV. And it's part of the popularity. This version of the R-Pod is called the Hood River Edition. Built in Dallas, Oregon, has a couple of features that are different than a standard R-Pod. First, it's got about three inches more suspension or chassis lift. 
That's provided by the design of the rubber torsion axle, which is a really great way to provide a soft, smooth suspension for a trailer like this. That extra three inches of lift means that you have extra clearance. So if you want to get off the pavement and go to a campground in a remote spot on a dirt road, you have less likelihood that you're going to be scraping or bottoming out on anything. And the Hood River Edition also includes these really cool, uh, heavy-duty looking kind of off-road mud and snow tires. It gives it a little bit of that rugged northwest look along with the uh, custom wheels. It's a fun package. One of the factors that makes small trailers like the R-Pod so popular is slide-out rooms. Now, this trailer is approximately 17 feet long in the body, but it's got a 9-foot slide-out, which is darn near a full wall slide-out in something like this. Now, this slide-out contains the dinette over on this end and the refrigerator here, which is adjacent to the rear kitchen. We'll see more about those when we go inside the trailer. But this slide-out adds so much extra space. It's not extremely deep, but it's deep enough that that adds extra floor space, lets you make the dinette a little bit bigger, and generally speaking, it adds a lot of livability to a small rig like this. Well, the outside of the R-Pod, the cosmetics, is what catches people's eye the first time. And there's good reason for that. It's a great-looking little trailer. But let's take a look on the inside. There's a lot of features in there that really make you realize why it's so popular and what makes it so great for livability. Let's go take a look. We'll be right back with more about the R-Pod trailer after these commercial messages. Stay tuned. Forest River, we not only build great RVs, we build award-winning RVs. Check out our complete product line at forestriverinc.com. Forest River, begin the journey. At Norcol, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcol refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Let's continue our look at the Forest River R-Pod trailer, one of the most popular lightweight trailers on the market today. Nice. These little R-Pods have been pretty well known for having a tremendous amount of space and functionality on the inside. They've done a good job of designing things. Now this one happens to be the R-Pod 179. It's got the rear kitchen, side dinette in the slide out, and a forward bed. Now this rear kitchen arrangement, this is really great for cooks because uh, if you happen to have cooking as kind of an emphasis for your RVing, this is a nice setup because it covers wall to wall in the rig. You've got a lot of open counter space here for working on food stuff. Little cover comes off the sink, and then when you're not using the sink, of course, you have more, more space there. And over on the other side, your generic suburban two burner stove, which does the trick. I mean, we're not gonna be doing any big Thanksgiving dinners in a small trailer like this, so the two burner works great for making our morning coffee and such, and that's really important for us. You've got a quite a variety of storage spaces down here, wide open space down here, some drawers, another handy cabinet over here. It's a very nice arrangement and it's got enough space here so that if the cook is working over here, people can walk in and out along the other side without banging into the cook. Very handy. Over on the side here, this is the uh, back end of the slide out and of course you have your Dometic two-way refrigerator. Actually, this is a three-way because it'll do both 120 volt AC gas and 12 volt electric and a nice size microwave oven which we find really handy and this is all again very conveniently accessible to the kitchen and the rest of the rig we'll go back and take a look at the uh, the dinette bathroom and so on this version of the R-Pod the 179 
has what amounts to being, like we mentioned on the outside, pretty much a full wall slide that includes the refrigerator, the microwave, and this dinette. And this U-shaped dinette is, is for a little bitty trailer. It's pretty darn big. I mean, you can accommodate four people sitting around here very easily for a card game or something like that. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. The seats are, you know, you can uh, adjust the cushions and such as needed. And this table is portable. So in addition to positioning it inside where you find the best use for it, uh, you could also take it outside, for example, and use it in your campsite. And it also adjusts for level. And this isn't quite so smooth operating. At least I don't get to do it right. But um, you release it, and this folds down far enough that you can turn this into a bed area as well. I'll lock it back up there. So this turns into an additional sleeping space, which would be kind of kind of snug unless it just happens to be a couple of little kids. So uh, if, if cooking is important to you, when you're looking at a floor plan, you kind of, you know, you kind of look at what you want to emphasize or what you, you really need or want out of an RV. If you've got a cook in the family who really likes that, um, then this would be a good choice because of that big kitchen across the back end. And, and that all, this would also be a good one for entertaining because you have this good sized dinette. And, you know, to give you some place to hang out in case you're out on a really nasty day or something along those lines. This floor plan includes a wet bath. It's got a toilet, kind of a built-in shower, and a really small sink in the corner. It is functional and it'll do what it has to do, but it's not exactly what you call one with stretch out room. Another one of the R-Pod floor plans, on the other hand, has a bath that goes across the back of the vehicle with the separate shower. So it kind of depends on what's important to you. If you like, if, if you really want a good quality, a good size shower, you'd probably pick that other floor plan. Now this one also has a full size bed up front. We'll take a quick look at that. What you might describe, that's full size bed, maybe you can call it an RV queen or an RV full size, but um, it's plenty wide uh, because of the small overall size of the trailer. It's like the trailer is about six foot six wall to wall on the outside. The bed space is about six foot three inches approximately from wall to wall. So for the average size person, they're going to fit it just fine. Um, I can't say that I fit, but then that's because that's my problem because I'm too tall for this sort of thing. But it was a very comfortable mattress and we slept okay on it. And that's kind of uh, when you're when you're looking at RVs and you have your priorities, one of my personal priorities is having a comfortable place to sleep, more so than having a giant bathroom, for example. So this would be kind of a floor plan that I would be interested in. And my wife likes to cook, so the big kitchen would be cool for her. This would be a great floor plan for us. But the bed area, you got good sized windows on both ends for plenty of cross ventilation. Nice illumination up here. Uh, we'd kind of like to see a couple of lights up by the head of the bed, but you know that's one of those small details. Everybody has different opinions about those things. The television is on a mount, so you can swing it around. You can watch it from the dinette area or move it back and be able to keep watching it from the bed area. And this, of course, is also adjacent to the stereo, which is really close to everything. Next to the bed, got a nice hanging wardrobe for shirts and things. And that's top, tops uh, another three, a set of three storage drawers. There's a surprising amount of storage in here. And there's also storage overhead up above the uh, dinette, which is very handy. Before we leave camp and hit the road, our pre-departure safety checks include wheel lug nut torque and tire pressure, both important for safe towing. The R-Pod was a good matchup for our Nissan Frontier pickup and would likewise tow well with other small vehicles. Easy handling and effortless towing made our Oregon Coast adventure even more relaxing and enjoyable. About the time that we were finishing up our road test story on the R-Pod, Forest River announced the 2017 model of the new trailer. It's more of that's kind of a refinement and a refreshing rather than a major makeover. Included on the new trailer are, of course, the attractive new blue color scheme. The Frog logo is now in a canoe. And as far as hardware is concerned, you have an awning available as one of the option packages. 
There is a uh, electric jack up front, which makes hitching a little bit easier. And the suspension has also been raised a little bit to provide a little more of that ground clearance. It comes in pretty handy. Altogether, the R-Pod just keeps getting better and better. It's certainly worth a look if you're interested in a lightweight trailer. For more information about the R-Pod trailer, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. Wow, am I glad I used Aquacam. Maybe chili wasn't the best idea. Aquacam, the most powerful odor control available and the number one seller for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Purchasing a recreation vehicle is the second largest purchase lots of people make in their lifetime. When you make the decision to spend that kind of money, it's important you make wise buying decisions. I've witnessed many poor buying decisions during my time in this industry, and I would like to offer some pointers on how you can avoid some of these same RV buying pitfalls. First on my list is making a hasty buying decision. What this means is purchasing an RV without doing any research. Hasty buying decisions are common in high pressure selling environments. It's easy to see why. You get caught up in the moment, especially when a salesperson tells you these prices are only good for today, or once this model's gone, we can't get another one on the lot like it. Lots of people buy RVs at shows where there's a lot of excitement, only to discover it is the wrong type, too big, too small, or too expensive. Whatever the circumstances are, a hasty buying decision can be a costly mistake. That leads me to the next mistake people make. When I sold RVs, it was common for folks to be a little bit intimidated by the size of RVs. Just the thought of towing a 30-foot trailer makes you nervous, so you decide on a 22-foot model. I always tried to explain to people, when you tow a trailer, you don't really notice a difference between a 26-foot or a 30-foot trailer. Sure, it's a little heavier, but with the proper tow vehicle and hitch components, the length of the trailer should not be a factor to base the RV buying decision on. This is true with motorhomes too. I can't tell you how many times people buy an RV and after driving or towing it, come back to the dealership and want something bigger. This is another expensive proposition. Next on my list is buying the right type of RV to suit your needs. There are many different types of RVs to choose from and you need to make sure you purchase a type that is best suited for you and your needs. It's important you consider how you plan to use the RV. If you like to explore the back roads or camp in state parks, a 40-foot motorhome is a bad choice. In this situation, a pop-up or truck camper makes much more sense. On the other hand, if you plan to travel cross-country in the RV, a fifth-wheel trailer or a motorhome would work great. Think about how you plan to use the RV, how many people will be staying in it, and what your budget is prior to selecting the type of RV suited for your needs. Speaking of budget, you want enough left over each month so you can go out and enjoy the RV. Before you purchase your RV, factor in the monthly payment, insurance, and upkeep to decide how much you can afford to pay without getting in a bind and still enjoy the RV. Number five on my list is, if you purchase a travel trailer or fifth wheel trailer, it is extremely important the tow vehicle can safely handle the weight of the trailer. I always tell people to find the trailer you want first and then buy the tow vehicle capable of handling the weight. If you already have a vehicle, you need to base the size and weight of the trailer on that vehicle. A quick and easy method I suggest for matching a tow vehicle and trailer is to find a trailer with a gross vehicle weight rating, or GVWR, less than or equal to the vehicle's tow rating. 
In this case, even if the trailer is fully loaded to the maximum gross vehicle weight rating, the tow vehicle is still rated to handle the weight. For more information on buying an RV, check out our Insider's Guide to Buying an RV ebook course at www.rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping! We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos, stories, and RV news, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. As usual, this has been another fun production. Thank you.